So, um, if you were commissioned to take a photograph, uh, maybe portrait, take us through the step, okay. the state by stage, as a photography okay. expert okay. that has the photo skills and the graphic skills. Yes. Okay, I will look at the personality of, first of all, my own approach is that yeah. I look at the personality of the person, portrait, uh, the person I'm taking. The subject. Exactly. Okay, so that's I'll, one. First. The personality. I try and study the personality. Okay. Who is he? What is his, his, his interest? Okay. Uh, because I need to understand how he thinks, okay. what he loves, okay. uh, what makes him, uh, makes what makes him tick. So I do a background check, a background study of him. Ask friends, ask uh, colleagues. His personality exactly. type. Personality type. Values exactly. and an outlook. Outlook. How the person thinks. Exactly. Is the outlook exactly. that he has on life. Right. Yeah. <sighs> so, how do you? Okay, you ask questions from people around. People around. Exactly. Okay, and then the data you get, you gather, will now form what decision. Now, when I do that, I when I get to the uh, when, when it's time to take a portrait, yeah. I use those, those, those that I've gathered in uh, forming uh, the, 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 my art dimension okay. to that photo. For example, I have, uh, I want to take a picture of, uh, let's say, Wally Schwenker, for yeah. example. Okay, I, I know he's, a, he's, a, he's an intelligent man, I know he's a scholar, an award winning scholar, yeah. a poet, you understand? So when I go, get to the photography, uh, scene, or I, I get to the presence of my subjects. I don't. I don't approach him any other way, but I approach him intelligently. Mm -hmm. Okay, I look at his recent uh, achievements. Okay, I, I, you know, probably he actually won an award, an award recently. I, I just comment about that. Oh, I, I, I saw that he just won an award with so and so and so. That will light him up. Yeah. That opens him up. Oh, you actually know about this award. So we start conversation conversing. So from that point in time, he opens himself up to me. So, so you need the subject to open up to exactly. you. Exactly. That's, that's the first process. So there's an interaction between the subject and the photography lens as well as the photographer's yeah. mind. Exactly. So that's three, 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 three dimensional yeah. interaction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you want to achieve that. So that's because eventually, your pictures would... would uh, the, your pictures is, is more reflective of the photographer than the subject. See, your picture is the measure of the work you have done behind the scene. Mm. Yeah, that, that result. Your picture is the result of the work you've done behind the scene. So it's not just about putting camera yeah, it's, and it's stamping. Not, it's, not, it's not. Because for most yeah. of us, it's just bam, bam, bam. bam, bam, bam. Okay. And then we, we process it out <laughs> and print it out. Okay. And boom, In we're In that case, we call you guys a photo then. Photo, so I don't have the graphic. <laughs> that graphic aspect. All right, you've told us about how you try to gather data about the personality of the subject. Yes. And then the data you gather... You integrate it into your process. Yeah. What are the other things that we will find on your checklist in terms of the steps you take when you've been commissioned to do a photographic portrait of okay. a particular person? Okay, we need to understand the environment we're taking pictures in. Okay. Now, for the same volition in Canal, there are certain environments we need to, locations we need to take the pictures uh, from, not just uh, any other, any. Not just any way. Any way. We need to be intentional with our our our, our results, the results mm. we are looking at. Okay, we, we can look at the library. Okay, you have a personal library because there's some, there's some places you enter that uh, are your comfort zone. You know, it's about opening up. So you need to. It's about getting the subject to open, open up, up. So easily. There's some places you put the subject in that it feels uncomfortable. So he cannot open up. Like Shoinka loves nature. He loves nature. So, so if you embed him in yeah, nature environment, environment, it tends to open him open up. up. Yeah. So those are the places that we get. As opposed to if you take him to a five star hotel. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not his thing. <laughs> it's not his thing at all. So, okay, so we've talked so about the personality of the subject. Yes. You've also talked about the environment where you will embed the subject during the photo shoot. Yes. What other things do you look out for? So in the when we get to the scene itself, we need to understand my one, the likes and his uh, dislikes. Okay. Okay, what are the things he likes to do? Like now, we are in a, set, in a scene, uh, we're in a setup, this is a setup yeah. for a show. Yeah. Where we still have uh, wine in front of us. 
Yes. So that that makes it uh, like oh, a casual. Oh, one makes a merry heart. Merry heart. So we understand and that this <laughs> is about merry making. Merry making. It's about why you're just gisting over uh, exactly over a glass of wine. Glass of wine. Yeah. So that that's it. You have to understand that. What kind of wine does it take? You understand? These are the things that uh, makes him comfortable yeah. in his zone. So what about the process from the other end? I assume there are other things that you take into cognizance, you factor in. But we don't have that time to you know, explore all of the details. Okay. But from your own end, what are the things you do uh, by way of preparation for a photo shoot? Okay, first of all, I, apart from the fact that I, of my subject, I have to understand my subject, I need to be ready myself, personally. How do you get yourself ready? Okay. Uh, apart from the fact that I try I, I do research by subject. Yeah. I prepare my gears also. Okay. Because photography is understanding subjects, understanding how to use your gears and the lightning involved. The location we are in, the lightning, how does it look? Uh, what kind of lightning uh, do, uh, do you have? It's called the ambient light. What kind of ambient light? What kind of light is available to us? Do we need to bring in more light for this photo shoot? Do we need to, uh, do we need to put one or two props in the scene mm. to make it to give uh, it life that life yes, my cameras uh what lenses am i supposed to use for this uh photo shoot do i use uh, if i want to take a portrait of what you got there's some portrait lenses i need to take along okay what are other things we need to do we got to go capture the environment mm. he's in there's a wide angle lens so i need to factor all these things in and also my camera i have to understand uh the focus points I have to understand uh, our metering level. Mm. I have to understand uh, the uh, composition mm. of those grids in the uh, view. Find yeah. out all those uh, things I need to check. Mm. Then make sure my every of my apparatus are ready. Battery. Now, every is very important that we we put everything in check. Wow. Most times, I, I advise that you do a checklist. As a, before you go out, before you go out, it's very important because I've been in the scene before that I go to Lagos, we're ready for the shoots, every lights ready, everything ready. Then I've discovered that I left memory card at home. Memory card, memory card as, as, as small as, as it is. I said, Wow, there's nothing to do. What to do? What to do? So that's actually because without a storage, storage capacity, your, 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 your job is you are not even going to work. Anyway. Set, light set. Photograph the family is ready to take pictures, they're excited about the photo, uh, the, 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 the adventure we're going to go into. Then I just found that my miracle is, is left behind at home. 